The following is an Investor Brand Network audio production via our audio press release solutions. As a multifaceted financial news and publishing company, Investor Brand Network utilizes its network of more than 5,000 distribution partners as well as other corporate communication tools to introduce public and private companies to a wide audience of investors, consumers, journalists, and the general public. Investor Brand Network's platform connects the investment community with companies that have great potential and a strong dedication to building shareholder value. The following audio press release may feature a client partner of Investor Brand Network. Investor Brand Network may have been compensated for the production of this audio production. Please be sure to read our entire disclaimer for full disclosure. Welcome to Network Newswire editorial coverage titled Parabolic Growth Curve in Digital Media, MarTech Sector Has Tech SPACs and Small Caps Booming. The innovation from artificial intelligence has high growth software companies taking on multi billion digital media giants such as Google and Facebook. New digital media and MarTech technologies continue to see accelerated growth with a global pandemic and soaring media consumption and e commerce activity trends. The sector has seen parabolic increases in the large technology markets, with the NASDAQ composite also reflecting a massive spike in new technology special purpose acquisition funds, or SPACs. In 2020, 250 SPACs raised more than $83 billion, with SaaS, software as a service, as a leading category. A rising tide carries all ships, as seen in a boom of AI software small caps. DGTL Holdings Incorporated, OTCQB, ticker symbol DGTHF, is an AI accelerator company that operates much like a mini technology SPAC. DGTL is building a portfolio of fully commercialized enterprise SaaS in the digital media and MarTech software sectors. DGTL is quickly making a name for itself with an average of 75% year over year revenue growth for the past two quarters and Tier 1 global brand clients, including impressive licensing deals with companies such as Quaker Oats, Budweiser, Duncan Brands, Mitsubishi Motors, DoorDash, Stella Artois, Nestle, Keurig, Dr. Pepper, Pizza Hut, Patagonia, and most recently, DraftKings, all leveraging the AI-powered social media content management platform of DGTL subsidiary Hashoff. Usually categorized under the broader umbrellas of SaaS, Software as a Service, or CAS, Content as a Service, the MarTech and ad tech markets are thriving, leading to rising valuations, acquisitions, and initial public offerings as evidenced through market leaders such as Digital Turbine Incorporated, APPS on NASDAQ, Viant Technology Incorporated, DSP on NASDAQ, IZEA Worldwide Incorporated, IZEA on NASDAQ, and Pubmatic Incorporated, PUBM, on NASDAQ. DGTL Holdings Incorporated reported year-over-year revenue growth of more than 83% in Q1, 70% in Q2. DraftKings has followed its NCAA March Madness campaign with Hash Off with a new campaign running during coverage of the PGA Masters, the world's most popular golf tournament. DGTL's client portfolio includes DraftKings, DoorDash, Shine.com, Anheuser-Busch, Quaker Oats, Duncan Brands, Mitsubishi, Stella Artois, Vertony, Cineos Health, Nestle, Keurig Dr. Pepper, Pizza Hut, and Patagonia, to name a few. DGTL's deal to acquire 100% of Hashoff requires the AI startup to meet or exceed annual sales revenue of up to $8 million which is a 400% revenue growth from the date of acquisition in order to receive 100% of cash payments. Revenue Growth DGTL Holdings Incorporated, OTCQB, ticker symbol DGTHF, has clearly amassed an impressive portfolio, one that features a growing list of some of the world's most recognizable brands that have chosen hash off for their marketing needs. Among others, the client portfolio includes Budweiser, Duncan Brands, Mitsubishi Motors, DoorDash, Stella Artois, Nestle, Keurig, Dr. Pepper, Pizza Hut, Patagonia, and DraftKings. Revenues are mounting at DGTL. During Q1 fiscal year 2021, ended August 31, 2020, 
The company's revenue rose 83% year-over-year to $1.16 million. In Q2, revenue increased to $1.25 million, up 70% from the year prior quarter. The company has a potential catalyst in the coming weeks when it discloses financial results for the latest quarter. Tier 1 Clients If the value of the hash-off technology can be measured by the quality of companies enjoying it, then DGTL is in a prime situation by combining top trends in tech under one roof. Tier 1 clients have signed on in spades, including DGTL activating a recent campaign for a client described as, quote, a NASDAQ-listed digital sports gaming and entertainment brand during the 2021 PGA Masters Tournament. Disclosure policies don't allow DGTL to flat-out state its client's name, but a quick examination of the description, global leader in fantasy sports and mobile sports betting applications, a $25-plus billion market cap, points squarely to DraftKings. The new deal comes on the heels of completing an NCAA March Madness basketball tournament campaign with DraftKings. DraftKings Fantasy, an online betting platform, covers essentially every major sport worldwide, from college through pros, which speaks to the opportunity for continuous campaigns across multiple verticals going forward. In March, a DGTL campaign was activated for, quote, a globally recognized CBG brand company. Having to be opaque, DGTL also called the client, which looks to be Quaker Oats, 150 years old, an American food conglomerate based in Chicago, owned and operated as a subsidiary of PepsiCo. Where consumers go, so do ad dollars. For more than a decade, there has been a steady erosion of time spent on traditional media in the United States, with a changing of the guard to digital dominance in 2018. Since 2011, people's average daily time with traditional media, TV, print, terrestrial radio, and billboards, has fallen about 20% to approximately 360 minutes. At the same time, usage of digital media has more than doubled from about 210 minutes to 450 minutes. The COVID-19 pandemic only accelerated the trend towards digital. Companies devote much more advertising and marketing capital to social media and influencer spending than traditional broadcast and print media, etc. To that end, out of an estimated $572 billion in total global ad spend in 2020, $291.7 billion was allocated to digital ads. Social ad spending rose 20% year-over-year to $43 billion, while social media influencer and content marketing, a hot new trend, jumped 50% to $9.7 billion last year and is expected to double again in the coming 12 to 18 months. These trends play to the strengths of tech accelerator DGTL as the company builds a portfolio of B2B enterprise SaaS in the digital media, MarTech, AdTech, and e-commerce sectors. Last year, DGTL, an acronym for Digital Growth Technologies and Licensing, acquired HashOff, an enterprise-level self-service CAS built on artificial intelligence and machine learning technology. DGTL's deal to acquire 100% of HashOff requires the AI startup to meet or exceed annual sales revenue of up to $8 million, which is a 400% revenue growth from the date of acquisition in order to receive 100% of cash payments. From the outset, HashOff has been in front of the technical and consumer trends, including social, influencer, artificial intelligence and machine learning, and the gig economy, to level the playing field with larger peers and even tilt it to their favor. The company excels in operational efficiencies, which contains costs, resulting in savings passed on to clients while simultaneously improving margins. The company offers a full-service platform that includes more than 150 million freelance content creators. Using cutting-edge artificial intelligence and machine learning tech, global brands have the ability to identify the top-ranked digital content publishers for their specific needs, subsequently engaging them, managing marketing campaigns, and tracking the performance all within the HashOff architecture.
a trend towards profitability. Investors will also be listening for rumblings of any additional M&A activity from DGTL. Management, which includes former senior executives from companies including Hearst, Yahoo, AOL Time Warner, Rocket Fuel, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, RBC, and IPG, have made it clear that the intent is to grow the company both organically and inorganically. The expedited growth of Hashoff puts the company's ability on full display, with the first MarTech SaaS acquisition within its portfolio-based development model. Importantly, the leadership team has kept the cap structure tight with only 36 million shares outstanding, with approximately $1.5 million in cash and no debt. Demand abounds. With traditional media fleeting, the ethos of the marketing community is next-generation digital processes. Even traditional digital methods such as pop-up ads and autoplay videos are becoming quickly archaic. Targeted marketing that feels native, such as with a social media influencer using AI and ML to most effectively inform both market and strategy, are the technologies that will drive the market for decades. Digital Turbine Incorporated, NASDAQ, ticker symbol APPS, operates an on-demand platform for app and content discovery, user acquisition and engagement, operational efficiency, and monetization opportunities that have been adopted by more than 40 mobile operators and original equipment manufacturers worldwide. With the technology, Digital Turbine is responsible for the delivery of more than 3 billion app preloads for tens of thousands of advertising campaigns. Late in March, the company agreed to buy Frankfurt-listed FiberNB for $600 million, adding expertise in mediation and real-time bidding technology to its portfolio. Viant Technology Incorporated, NASDAQ, ticker symbol DSP, had a successful initial public offering, pricing its IPO at $25 per share, only to open at $44, and close the first day of trading at $47.72. Viant operates a demand-side platform, or DSP, branded Adelphic, that uses people-based data to assist marketers in planning, executing, and measuring omnichannel campaign impact. Customers have the option to work through a self-service portal or to seek the assistance of the Viant Services team for their advertising initiatives. IZEA Worldwide Incorporated, NASDAQ ticker symbol IZEA, is a pioneer in the modern influencer marketing industry. In 2006, the company was the first to launch a technology platform that pays bloggers to create content for brands, growing from essentially a one-man show to a team of over 100 staffers providing influencer marketing technology, data, and services. Utilizing data from its proprietary social intelligence platform dubbed BrandGraph, Isaiah recently estimated that the global impact on travel and tourism brands is $5.2 billion in lost earned media per month, which will create a race to capture the travel consumer wallet. Pubmatic Incorporated, PUBM on NASDAQ, completed its IPO in December after 14 years as a privately held ad tech company. The California-based company, which operates a sell-side advertising platform that runs programmatic ad transactions in real-time, priced its offering at $20 per share. In yet another demonstration of investor appetite for the space, shares closed at $33.16 and subsequently went on to reach a high of almost $77 in February. The company truly has a global presence, running 14 offices and 8 data centers worldwide. There are some similarities and a lot of subtle differences between companies in the space, but there is one common thread in maximizing return on investment for advertisers. Brands are going to increasingly earmark capital for digital efforts, especially with economies reopening worldwide as the fight for consumer attention continues. As for tech companies, it's a matter of which can deliver the most efficient, quantifiable results in a timely manner and at the lowest cost. Those that can deliver on that model are in a position to make the most of the industry opportunity. This audio press release is an original broadcast provided by Investor Brand Network. 
a multifaceted financial news and publishing company that delivers a new generation of corporate communication solutions, including news aggregation and syndication, social communication, and brand awareness tools, Investor Brand Network may receive payments for the services and solutions provided to its client partners. You should assume that the owners, officers, and directors of Investor Brand Network or financial analysts mentioned in this audio production may hold a position in and may intend to trade the securities on their own accounts. This audio production is not an offer or recommendation to buy or sell any securities mentioned in this audio production. The information in this broadcast is presented solely for informative purposes and is not intended to be or should it be construed as investment advice. As in all investments, investment in the featured companies carries an investment risk. Listeners should review the companies thoroughly with a registered investment advisor or registered stockbroker. This audio production by Investor Brand Network is not purported to be a complete study of the featured company or other companies mentioned. Information used and statements of fact have been obtained from featured companies and other sources but not verified nor guaranteed by Investor Brand Network as to completeness or accuracy. Such information is subject to change without notice. Please see our full disclaimers and disclosures at InvestorBrandNetwork.com.